Oh. Welcome everyone! Today we are playing The Secret of Evermore! Hi everyone, I'm gonna be really quiet this episode. Because apparently Steve is being really quiet. I have no fucking clue why. This is the AMSR Massive Murder episode. Uh, I don't think that would work, because I'm definitely... Shut up! Talking loud. Tom, shut the fuck up. Tom, Tom, shut up. Uh... Doof. All right, doof it is. Doof of Earl. Doof is me. I am Doof. I am Deef. Podunk USA. So, so we're I'm in I'm Wyoming no in the fall of 1965. Awesome. I've never played Secret of Evermore. I don't uh, know anything about this game other than I've heard its title several times, and it's supposed to be amazing. It is a phenomenal game, if you ask me. Bijou. Adventures of Loxley. Oh, Loxley. You don't say. I assume that's like a Robin Hood movie? Uh, Robin would, of Loxley? I would, I would imagine so. That makes <laughs> sense. Al's um, Berber. So, this game is super awesome. Um, it came out roughly, like, I want to say, like, either two, maybe maybe three years after uh, Secret of Mana. Okay. Um, and I, 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 I don't quote me on this. Or do. Uh, I, I haven't done a lot of research in a while. Quoted. But I believe this is uh, a Squaresoft USA game. Oh, uh, okay. My friends, prepare to make history. With a twist of a knob here and a flip of a switch there. Wait a minute. That's not right. This is supposed to kill all of you! <laughs> Instead, it's just putting out frozen yogurt! 30 years later, oh. which is now the, the Lost the Adventures of Vex. Oh my god, that main what hero. What a classic! My favorite part was the battle with the slime beast in the toxic swamp. <laughs> you could hardly tell that it was really a bunch of old tires and garden hose. Wow, well, skateboarding! Where are you going, buddy? That's not the way home. That's a really big cat. Wait for me! It's interesting because, like, so you look at his run animation, uh -huh. and you can kind of tell that this is, like, the same... It's like a reskin of Secret of Mana. Yeah. Like, it's the same engine underneath. Yeah, that... that, uh, that that's why I think that this was just, like, um, like, uh, the the USA team was just like, hey, can we get that? We want to make this, this awesome yeah. idea. And they took it, and they kind of, like, modified it. Also, if you notice... Uh, the faces of the bottom statues yep. are now skulls. Yeah. They're no longer faces. Doesn't make any sense, but... Yeah. No, it, do it really doesn't. Hey, look, a mummy, a chainsaw, and a balloon animal! What the hell is going on here? Huh. This wall panel is kind of loose. He is... It wow! I think we found some sort of secret entrance! He is rapidly moving through this building. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's chasing his dog, bro. Uh -huh. Bra dog. Whoa, what do we got here? Looks like a brain. Looks like an octopus. It's Must a PS2. Be the PC plasma drive in there. I wonder if it works. Let's start randomly turning on things that we don't understand. God, I love his, um... What? Like, model pose whenever he looks out to the audience. Yeah? He just, like, strikes that pose like, ah, look at I'm me. so cool. I'm so... He reminds me of hey, Fred from... Hey, don't uh, chew on those wires. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Oh no, doggo! Oh no! <laughs> Alright, that happened. Yeah. Bwomp! Oh my god! What do we have here? An intruder, I fear! Oh. Oh no. That was some blast! Oh, wow! Who are you? That is not important. We've got to get you out of here. We can't have you meddling with the professor's experiments. Achtung! Come! Schnell! Well, it's Dr. Wiley. What's that, Carlton? Do we have a visitor? It is no one. Nobody at all. Continue with your work, Professor! We must get rid of all the 
in pure. I like how he's just like, all right, leave, get yeah. out. I'm just gonna leave you here now. Oh yeah, this is totally the same engine as a uh... bazooka. <laughs> yeah, dude. Cool. The fuck? Hey, I got a bazooka, bro. This escalated quickly. All right, or not quickly. This does not look good. I don't know about that, like, hit animation, though. Boom! 215! Haha, <laughs> you do me no damage! This looks like a way out. Is that you, buddy? I can't see very well. It's dark in here. Hey, I think this is some kind of futuristic escape pod. Whoops, there goes the control pad. Jesus. Shouldn't have peed on it, doggo. Bark, bark. And by that, I mean, I am a Whoa! dog. Whoa! Whoa! Why am I flying in a pizza? It's not an escape pod. That's a whole fucking ship. Yeah. Shaped like a pizza. Oh, cool, we're in the, uh... Whoa, that was some landing. I think the pod and the bazooka are shot. Damn. Get it? Bazooka, shot! I don't get it. <laughs> Could you please break down and explain the joke to me? Where am I, anyway? And where's my dog? Where's my dog? Here, buddy. My, my good dog. Here, pupster. Where are you, boy? Whoa. Wow, is that really you? You've changed. <laughs> I don't even know you anymore, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you anymore. But here, if you're really my dog, you'll fetch this stick. Yeah, That's when he just throws it right at the dog's face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go get it. Huh, must be my dog. Or a dog like any other dog. This isn't a stick, but it'll do. Come here, buddy, let's take a look around. All right, so I believe you hit start. Uh, select? Anything? Oh. So... Nope. Buttons. Buttons do... The buttons! They do nothing! They do nothing! Um... So... Oh. I, what? 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 What happened? I think I hit... Hold on, don't hit anything. Okay. I'm not touching anything. Okay, never mind. Alright, um, there used to be a way to get two players to play on this game. Yeah, I mean, uh, what's it called did the same thing. Uh, yeah, but I don't remember what it was. Let me, um, uh, let me search our, our memory banks. Yes, our memory banks. Our, our mamars. Our memory banks. Anyways. Uh, so I played this game a ton, um, back in the day. All right, doggo, you smell anything good? I smell all kinds of good thing. Oh, doggo got hit. Uh, but yeah, uh, oh, found some roots. Don't worry, everybody, I got some roots. Doggo, anything? Anything? No! Barked right. at it. Bork! Bork, bork! Uh, uh, yeah, so... I remember this game, like, so vividly, cuz... Oh, thank you, doggo. Uh, as a kid, me and my cousin, uh, played this game non freaking stop Uh, cuz I remember he had, um... Secret of Mana? No, my cousin had Chrono Trigger, uh, I had Secret of Mana, and then I got this game, and I freaking could not get enough of this game. Nice. What's up? Okay, so I've looked it up. Uh-huh. Um, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, looks like this game was actually originally made as a single player game. Uh-huh. Uh, it looks like at one point they did release a two-player edition of the game. 
Uh-huh. Um, but looking at that cartridge and the cartridge that we have, this uh-huh. is not the two-player edition. Uh, what does the two-player edition look like? Uh, this particular one, it's it's actually kind of almost a green translucent cartridge. And uh. below the title, Secret of Art, says two-player edition. Ah, uh, okay. So. That makes sense, because I remember, um, I don't know if it was my cousin uh, or if it was a friend of mine, but I remember that somebody I knew had a... Uh, the two-player version, and I remember yeah. I went to his house and I was playing it uh, on my... Uh, no, I remember playing as the dog, and my friend was uh, the boy, and I am about to die. Don't do that, Tom. Uh, apparently, the I get a one-to-four ratio of experience on the um, the bone. Interesting Ooh, that this one was talents. only single player, considering it came out like two or almost yeah two years after Secret of Mana. So it was two years after Secret of Mana. Yeah, Secret of Mana came out in ninety three. This came out in ninety five. I think. Okay, interesting. That's that's super interesting, actually. Like, um, uh, pedal. There we go. Let me double check. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that sweet, sweet. Um, uh, Secret of Mana he, uh, animation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Secret of Mana had some really great animations. It, it was just... Uh, it was a fantastic game. It, it was. Like, all around, it was an awesome, awesome game. <gasps> Doof reaches level two! Secret of Mana was one of the first games that I rented from uh, the video store, mm-hmm. like, multiple times in a row. Uh, the only game that I ever did that with was Battle Arena Toshiden. Nice. The oh oh no. That was a sweet fucking leaf animation there. What, what do you smell, this, dog? It's boss time. Yeah, this is bad boss time. God, I have a strange feeling about this. Do you remember Spiky Tiger <gasps> from Secret of Mana? <laughs> That boss was such ass. Who? Spiky Tiger. He was oh. like the second boss you fight in the game, but he's like the hardest boss in the game. I remember him. Oh my god. He was the worst. Yeah. He was so incredibly strong for for the time you encounter him. Also, this guy is a little ass. Like, look at him. He's like, I'm up here. You're oh, gonna get it. Nope, I'm down there now. Never mind. Oh look at me! I jump at you like a jerk. You're gonna, you're gonna die. I you need supposed to, heal. to. I'm supposed to die right here. Oh, it's kind of one of those things. It's one of those. Like this is another thing too that I, I I always was frustrated with in video games. Like how was I supposed to know I was supposed to die there? Yeah. Like if I had like 500 petals. I would have used them all up trying to beat that guy. Right, exactly. I that, I always felt that if they're gonna include a segment in the game where you're supposed to lose, just take it, should it out be, of my hands. Yeah, it should be really obvious you're supposed to lose this scenario. Yeah, like when it walks up and it hits you for the first time, it's just like n- unlimited damage. Yeah, and you get popped out in one hit, so that way you know you're supposed to lose. But then also it makes me question, like, what if I had literally like, played that in just the right way. Also, who the heck are these people? I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter to me, because you're getting deleted. Deleted. But, like, what What if you, like, play that level right there just right, and I'm able to beat the, um, whatchamacallit? The, right. The, the asshole. Like, it makes you wonder, like, how long does that fight actually go? Yeah. Um, and... What, what do you... What, what is it, boy? What do you smell? What do you smell? Uh, is it yeah, what the like, rocks cooking? Like, what, what if you, like, took your time and you were able to beat that boss? Like, is that an option? Do I get something awesome out of that? And I'm just here to steal from you, old lady? I kind of, like, next time I play d and uh-huh. I just kind of want to play a character who just, like, basically acts like a, an old JRPG character and just <laughs> wanders around and just takes stuff out of people's houses. It's like you walk inside of the house and they're just like, oh, what's inside the house? And they're like, oh, there's like a, like a hope chest and this and that. I open the hope chest. What? 
What? Why? But like, it's just like, all right, you find a glass of water. Cool, I take it. I take it. What? Yep, I take it. They're eating lunch right now. I take their lunch. Yeah. What? This, this is like traditional JRPG. This is what my character does. Just find random <laughs> ass shit. Well, there's a, they have some medicinal herbs. I take them. You don't know how to use them or even what they are. I don't care. I don't care. I take them. I put them in my inventory and uh, I'll stash know. my inventory and then never look at them again. Yep. Never again. God, these these games are why I'm a fucking pack rat. Oh yeah. No, the, it, it, you are not even remotely wrong here. Also, look at that. The the sphincter. Blech. Blech. Oh, death sphincter. Blech. It is really, really weird and unsettling. It is extremely unsettling, uh, and it, it it's just weird. And, and this is also like, uh, games like this are why I used to obsessively run around. Oh my god, let me out! I don't want to talk! Oh, oh, no, oh. no. Let, let, let. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, oh thank god uh, it, it's also games like this that I wander around and I literally just tap the X button yeah oh, oh. hello never mind hello Ooh. you take talents oh, oh yeah that was another thing about this game that like drove me up a wall huh. so hey I am stealing from the shopkeep right now yeah B, the shopkeep doesn't have anything identifying it as a shopkeep. Yeah. Um, and also, I like to think, because you're finding things like petals and roots, uh -huh. I like to think that you're you're just actually taking out their garbage, but you don't know that. You think you're actually taking valuable things because you're finding them in boxes and stuff. But in reality, they're like... There's ash here. Why like, would there be ash why is, he, why is he rummaging through my garbage? And then uh, taking stuff as if it's valuable. Why? Why is he? You know what? D don't 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 question it. Just, don't, don't just let him do what he wants. Just let it happen. Ooh, oh, I just I just stole that guy's like years worth of money. He's, he's like, taking me teeth. He's taking me teeth. You talents. It's just like, uh, dude, that's a that's a years worth of saving right there. What? Can I get that back, please? Uh, excuse me, sir. You just robbed me. You just robbed me. Um, now, judging by your strange clothing, I'm guessing that maybe you're not familiar with our traditions. This is the leaders, the hut of our leader. Please show fire eyes your respect. And we will show fire eyes respect on the next episode. Good night, doggy. Good night, doggo. Uh... Oh no.